So this is our first, you know, a first of our four-part series, What the Movies Can Teach Us About Plumbing Business. And our first one here is Rocky. Mm -hmm. Get in the ring. Mm. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Get your butt in the ring. So like, I got a couple things here. Okay. Okay. So I let's hit it. You might. Let's what, what did Rocky, what, what, what has Rocky taught us about? Plumbing business. Plumbing business. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, first of all, Rocky probably doesn't even know that he did this. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 354th episode of Potty Talk Live. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura. Hello. Where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. And welcome back. Hey, welcome back to our uh, new format here. Did you say Potty Talk or Potty Talk Live? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it don't, it, this, this is Potty Talk now. This we've, is we've Potty gone Talk. A, we've gone from a potty talk live format. We've gone from a live posted right. on Facebook and YouTube live to non-live, non-live actual <laughs> podcast type format. We've been so, saying potty talk live since you know, well, for four years. Yeah. For 353 episodes. Yes. So it may take us a little bit to, to get, get past that, to get used to, it's not potty talk live. It's potty talk, yes. potty talk, potty talk, potty oh, this talk. This is cool. All right. Mm -hmm. we, we got a little bit of a new set here. We do. All we right. Know. New, new, new stuff here. Yep. We got, got a little bobble we head. Do. I, yeah. If you're um, just listening and you don't get to see the new studio, it is pretty cool. Yes. You're going to have to to at least jump on YouTube or Facebook. But yeah, we got all the bobbleheads and all, all kinds of fun stuff. All right. Yeah. So yes, fun. the new format, which is mm -hmm. which is great here. So mm -hmm. yeah, take us a little bit, uh, I guess, to get used to it here. <laughs> you know, it's just a new routine, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But it's uh, fun. New routine, but the same great information. Absolutely. We're, we're talking again, um, you know, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're starting, yeah. I guess it's kind of fun because we're starting, a, uh, this is the first of a, a four-part series. Mm -hmm. That, that we're starting here. Mm -hmm. What the movies can teach us about plumbing business. Huh? Huh? I bet you. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when you come up with these, like, well, I'm not sure well, where well, he's going to go with well, this. Well, you know, I love, I love the movies, you do. right? Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's so cool, really, how our pop culture, um, there's a lot of wisdom in our pop culture. Mm -hmm. you know, if you, you listen past stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so that's why I wanted to take a look at Kind of, kind of my, some favorite movies. Okay. Okay. All right. There's all kinds of movies and maybe this will be kind of fun and we'll, we'll do it again. Okay. okay but we'll, we'll just pick four movies. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the first one here, mm -hmm. we're starting with Rocky. One of okay. your favorites. Yes. And we'll, 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 every guy's right, Rocky, right up there, right? Rocky. Rocky. Love, Adrian. No, Adrian. Rocky hey, before we get into that though, yes, uh, it is part of our, our new, uh, our new routine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our new structure here. Mm -hmm. Hey, want to recognize our sponsor. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, hey, are you looking to grow your revenue and overall profitability? Well, of course you are. Right? That's, <laughs> that's a silly, that's that's a silly question. That that's silly question. right. <laughs> then Service Titan, all right, the world's leading all-in-one software for residential plumbing companies is the business power tool for you. Service Titan automates your company's day-to-day -day scheduling, dispatching, and billing systems to improve efficiency and profitability. Mm -hmm. This essential power tool for plumbing companies makes it easy for techs to provide Mrs. Jones options an invoicer on site from a mobile tablet. Plumbing companies that use Service Titan see a 15% revenue increase on average year over year. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. All right, with actionable analytics, providing the insights you need to make better business decisions and an amazing customer experience with automated communications. You'll be asking yourself why you haven't used Service Titan sooner. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. Don't know. Hey, don't believe the hype. Hey, just ask the Potty Talk listeners who have made the move to Service Titan. Not only have they saved thousands by eliminating time spent on profit suck manual tasks, but they now have scalable processes in place to help grow their business for years to come. To check them out and to take advantage of special discounts for Potty Talk listeners, that's you. Mm -hmm. Go to the milliondollarplumber.com forward slash service titan. That's the milliondollarplumber.com forward slash service titan. All right, and start plumbing like a champion today. Absolutely. And just um, also to little, do a little plug for service titan, we do have a link somewhere um, on whatever device you're listening to or whatever channel, I guess, social media channel. So somewhere in there, there's a direct link to service titan. And we right. used Service Titan for years. For years. For years. We were one of the very first ones. We were. They beta service. tested with our plumbing company. They did. Yep. So. All right. You spoke directly, directly with. Uh, with the two owners. I did. Right. I drove them crazy. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I helped them improve their product. Exactly. Service Titan wouldn't be Service Titan today if it weren't for you. 
All right. Sure, they're going to love that. Uh, anyway. All right, okay. let's get, hey, mm. so this is our first, you know, a first of our four-part series, What the Movies Can Teach Us About Plumbing Business, and okay. our first one here is Rocky. Mm-hmm. Hey, question for you. Yes. Sweetheart, what, mm-hmm. what is your favorite Rocky movie? <laughs> oh, how many were there? 80? Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. How many were there? there there's a lot. Now um, they got the whole Creed thing going, oh, that's and all right. that. Mm-hmm. That's great. My, of course, the first one. I can remember when it oh, came. Yeah. I remember being in the theater. I, I yeah. can remember seeing it in the movie theater. Mm-hmm. I think okay. the one with um, the Russian. That's number four. Okay. That, that's uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that, that was a pretty one. Yeah. We produced and mm-hmm. music and all that. Yeah. Had that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a good one. And I like Rocky Balboa. Balboa. I like when Rocky I like Balboa the one where he's old, mm-hmm. you know, older and just you know. Mm-hmm. All right. It's got that, a great line good. in it. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Maybe if you're watching or yeah, if you're watching on any social media channels, um, and you can comment, yeah. comment in the in the comments below. What was your favorite Rocky movie? Right. Every guy has a favorite Rocky movie, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let us know, all right? Okay. So yeah, the Rocky, we, we learn from a lot from Rocky. Mm-hmm. So I got a couple things here. Okay. Okay, so I let's hit it. You might. Let's what, do it. what did Rocky, what, what, what has Rocky taught us about plumbing business? Plumbing business, okay. okay. <laughs> well, first of all. Rocky probably doesn't even know that he did this. <laughs> <Right. laughs> well, first of all, get in the ring. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, mm-hmm. get your butt in the ring. Okay, get in the ring. You know, um, is that famous scene from the first the first movie Mm -hmm. um, when uh, Apollo Creed decides, you know, you know, he thought he was going to he was getting called in to spar with Apollo Creed Mm -hmm. or whatever. But he was told that no Apollo wants to fight you mm-hmm. and even has a like wait I, Apollo wants to fight him was yeah, that how it went yeah I don't Apollo wants that. to give an unknown a chance oh an okay. opportunity golly it's been a while okay. all right mm-hmm. and so even in the movie it's one of those movies where uh, you know Rocky the character actually looks right into the camera mm. you know looks right in and has that face like oh crap crap this is <laughs> this is bigger no I'm not I'm mm-hmm. not ready mm. But what he didn't do, all right, the point we wanted to learn here is don't let fear control you. Oh, that is good. Okay. Sadly, that's what what most wannabe, you know, entrepreneurs, plumbing entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. or entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, okay, as you call them. let that mm-hmm. fear control, mm-hmm. control you. doesn't mean the fear is not there. Sure. Right. You do it anyway. Right. You do it, do it anyway. Do it scared. All right. Mm-hmm. And the reason you're, you're scared, especially at that moment, these opportunities come. It, it's never the right time to get in the ring. Mm-hmm. It's never the right time to start the plumbing business. Mm-hmm. It never is. <laughs> there's never enough money. Mm-hmm. All right. There's, there's never enough. You don't have customers lined up, jobs lined up. Just waiting all for right. you to service <laughs> right. their plumbing. You don't have all the stuff. You don't know what's going on. Text have... lined out the door just <laughs> right. to come and work for you. It's never the right time. <laughs> it's like having kids. You know, never, it's never <laughs> right time to have kids. It's never the right time to All have right? kids. So you got to just get in the ring, mm-hmm. you know? So get your butt in the ring. There's right. no, there's, you know, the best time to start. What's the best time? You know? Oh, now. Now. Now's good. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. You, you just got to do it. You can't play the safe game of, you know, well, let me but make sure I get things lined up and, and that kind of thing. You will never, ever, never be successful. You'll never achieve the, what, what you want in your life. So I would say for those of, of those um, our listeners that maybe haven't started a plumbing business, they've been following us for a while and they're thinking about it or whatever. I think we're totally addressing that where you, you just have to do it. There's no, like you said, there's no perfect time. There's, it's never going to, all the stars are not going to align all perfectly for you. Right. So you just have to do it for those of you who are, Currently, plumbing business owners, you did get into the ring, right? right? You got into the ring, so that that's a huge step that most people never do. Right. I, in fact, I I love talking with guys, um, you know, uh, that uh, I, I respect. What I'm trying to spit out. I respect the guys who've gotten in the ring. Mm. You know, a lot of these guys talk, and I'm not talking about doing side jobs. You know, the guys that's you, not you a guys out there company. doing the side jobs and all that. You're just you know, it's not a plumbing company, right? It's a hobby, and you think you make okay, you're making a couple bucks on the side. That, that's nothing. Mm-hmm. There, there's nothing. There's nothing there. There's nothing to respect there. Mm-hmm. But the guys that actually have said, I'm not working over anymore, over here anymore. They got a truck. They're working out of a pickup truck. I mean, mm-hmm. everything's not even optimal, you know, <laughs> but they are, you know, are they now the doing ring. it. Mm-hmm. Get, they're in the ring. You've mm-hmm. got to respect a guy who gets his butt in the ring. Absolutely. All right. Mm-hmm. And so get your butt in the ring. Okay. okay? That's, that's step number one. Mm-hmm. We learned that from Rocky. Get in the ring. Okay. Next. <laughs> okay. And this is a biggie. Okay. This is the biggie. Okay. Know your 
why. Uh, why you're well, in the I know ring. I why you're saying this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> know know uh, your why. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and it's not because you love plumbing. It is not. Or you want to make more money, you know, instead of making that guy money, I'm going to make the money, which is a queen. We all kind of start out that way and think that way. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, instead of making that guy money, I'm going to make the money. I can make more money, that kind of thing. Um, Yeah. My my current owner, he doesn't know what he's doing. I'm going to go out on my own. Right. I'll show him and I'm going to charge 10% less. Right. (laughs) You know, that, that'll get no, it done. No idea why. Or because is, the customers like which you. Which is what we did. Right. So. right. We, <laughs> we did, started we did, our we did all those business. things. We did everything wrong. I did everything wrong. Okay. But I was in the ring. You were in, in, in the we, ring. We were okay. surely in the ring. Okay. But when, when the hits start coming, mm-hmm. you're going to have to know your why. Because mm-hmm. you are going to get knocked to the canvas. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. You are going to get knocked More to the canvas. More than once. You know. I kn- there's probably a, a really famous scene in Rocky that I, you're you might want to it. refer to. Well, I love it. It's in, it's in the first movie, and Rocky knew his why. Mm-hmm. So here's the thing. You know, it's that, remember in the first movie? Yes, honey. You know, it was the night before the big fight. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so the music, you know, it's that quiet music's playing. He's in the arena mm-hmm. by himself. How did he get in the arena? First of all, how did he get in the arena? Okay. <laughs> but he's in the arena. Okay. Suspension of disbelief. Is right. that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. You just have to let it go. Okay. All right. But he's, he's in the arena, uh, you know, he's in the <laughs> arena, and you've got the big banners hanging. You know, right. on the one side, you know, he sees his, which is, you know, it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah. cool. He's up there. Okay. <laughs> but he looks at the opposite side and then there's Apollo. <gasps> he looks big and tough, you know, mm-hmm. and just the reality, this is, you know, this the is enormity, the champion. Right. The enormity of it, right? Of it all. Mm-hmm. Right. Hits him. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is bigger than me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, they had the fancy music and I ran up the hill and ran up the steps and That's okay, so I can nice. do it. I had my moment and all that. But now <laughs> here's the reality of it. Okay. We've never done that. It's We've time never to write been the to checks. Philly. Right? We've never been to Philly and climbed up the stairs. Yeah, we We've not done that. that. Huh. I like to do that. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> but it's, so, so it hits him mm. and he goes back. Remember he goes back to his dumpy little trashy apartment. Mm-hmm. So I, if you could call it apartment. With that dumb dog. With, 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 well, the dog. Well, she got him the dog. Uh, butt kiss. Butt kiss. <laughs> butt kiss. Which was his dog. Sylvester <laughs> Stallone's real dog, by oh, the way. Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Which in his early days of, mm-hmm. of being in the ring, the fight in his fight to get, mm-hmm. you know, Rocky was really a big thing for him. I right. mean, he, he wrote that. Mm-hmm. You know, Sylvester Stallone, I, get, I know I'm going off the track here, <laughs> but S- Sylvester Stallone really is kind of a, um, a, 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 a Shakespeare type writer. He has mm-hmm. his pulse on the common, mm-hmm. the common man, that, you know, that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, really, he's a good writer. So he wrote Rocky. You right. know, and he's written other things as well. I mean, but um, it doesn't get, because he kind of has that speech thing and all that, we, you know, we don't look at him, you know, he kind of gets, but right. he really is really pretty cool. But he had, he was so poor that he actually um, gave his dog up, you know, for whatever. Um, Sylvester Stallone? Yeah. You know, huh. to, you know, whatever, and bought him back or, you know, that kind of oh, thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Kind of like, um, what yeah. do you call that when you do jewelry? Right. Or... I don't remember what that's called. Hawk or whatever. Yeah. You know, you, mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, he did. And he got, he got his dog back, huh. whatever. And he wanted to play Rocky. He was Rocky. Mm-hmm. But, the, you know, they wanted the script. Mm-hmm. And they offered him $300,000, something like that, for the Which script. Which was probably was a billion huge. to him. Oh, it had been, you know, back, think of the early 70s. Sure. When you're, well, especially when you're broke today, $300,000. Right. When you're broke and, mm-hmm. you're, you know. It's a lot of money. Right. You know, it's right. And he's, he held out. Mm-hmm. It's probably the best thing he ever did. So, oh, man. You know, you know what you got. You mm-hmm. hold on to it. That's an, there's another lesson there. Mm-hmm. Well, anyways. All right. So, here it is. It's that big, <laughs> that big night before, mm-hmm. you know, the, the fight. And he goes back to his dumpy, <laughs> dumpy little apartment. Right. And Adrian's in the, you know, there for him. He kind of mm-hmm. crawls in next to Adrian and you know and he's just he's freaking out a little bit mm. but he says you remember what he said um you go ahead honey no you do it good I, I can't beat him I can't how's he talk I can't beat him I can't beat him but if I can just be standing when that final bell rings I'll know for the first time in my life that I'm not just another bum from the neighborhood <laughs> whatever that's what that's his why mm-hmm. that's his why mm. so when he is you know when you're beat up you, you you know you're bleeding and you have you, you can't breathe and you have no legs um you know the, the phone's not ringing there's no um you know no text. Th- there's no text mm-hmm. um you don't you know you're writing checks you know you don't have any money and that kind of stuff customer complaint right you know bad review mm-hmm. all, all this kind of stuff mm-hmm. when all that's happening which it will Okay. More than once. Right. And as you get bigger and bigger, it happens more and more and more and more. Okay. All right. You've got to know your why. Right. And Rocky's why was, was 
I'm not going to be, I'm just going to, if I can be standing when that final bell rings, I will know for the first time that I'm not another bum from the neighborhood. Mm. It That's wasn't it. the championship. Mm-mm. It wasn't winning. Money. It wasn't the money. It wasn't the fame. It wasn't. It was, it was himself. That, right. Right. That. That is powerful. Right. Right. That's a, that's a powerful why. And so how does that tie into? Well, you you got to know business? why you have your plumbing business. Mm-hmm. All right. Just, just because you love plumbing. If you love plumbing, go be a plumber for another company. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. That's not enough to be in pl- a plumbing business. Mm-hmm. All right. Right. Okay. You got to have, have a bigger reason than that. Mm-hmm. All Such right. As? Um, and well, it's not, it's not because you want to provide the best service. No. Okay. Correct. Or, or, or serve or, your community. Or, that is that is not what businesses do. That, that's all that, the that's, that is a that's all the culture. B- right. Yes, saying we gotta we gotta love one another, which we do. Which we say. do. Right. All right. But but I mean, part of the business is yes, is to serve the you know you're serving right. obviously Mrs. Jones and the community. But the number one thing about business is businesses are supposed to make a profit that is a for profit you. for the owners. Right. It makes a better life for you Correct. or creates a life for you. Right. Now, if you're out ripping people off and all that, then that's a whole other story. Right. But that's the purpose of the business. So for us, our why, because we lived in Indiana for ever, um, but we- Corn country. Mm-hmm, corn country. <laughs> cow country. It's cow a great country. place to raise the kids. Anyway, right. um, yes. we had decided, or we always went on vacation down to Florida because, you know, Indiana is, just, especially spring break, you know, it's cold and dreary and all those uh, things, right? Right. So we always went to, to Florida and we were like, one day, we are when we were in Clearwater, we remember distinctly a vacation in Clearwater where we're watching jet skiers go and we're like, man, that's the life. That'd be great to be able to afford that because some of the times when in the beginning we went to Florida, oh, we could, we it could. was a shoestring budget for right. sure. Which is another topic on how you force you, you keep pushing yourself to do right. it right. But so it was our why. We knew that one day as our kids were getting older and we're trying to think, do we really want to be in Indiana? Well, we, we knew we didn't. We knew we wanted to be where there's sunshine and, and water and all those blue skies, all those things, right? Right. So, so when the jobs, the jobs weren't coming or I'm trying to figure out systems and we're doing stuff or writing checks that my body couldn't cash, mm-hmm. all that is, this is why I'm creating this. This is why, is why I'm doing, doing this. this. Right. You know, in fact, and then it came to pass. I still have these surreal moments. We were just, mm-hmm. just this uh, past week, we were, we had uh, some client friends in we're and we're out boating, mm-hmm. you know, and li- living the life mm-hmm. and just... You know, where we live now is literally, we can see Clearwater Beach. <laughs> and so it's almost like I could see the ghosts of what, you know, when we were much younger, <laughs> well, younger <laughs> much and younger. our kids <laughs> and actually sitting on the beach mm-hmm. dreaming about, man, I'd love to be able to, man, I'd love to be out there on a jet ski. Mm-hmm. Right? I bet that'd be so cool and so right. fun. But we kept right. that in the forefront of our mind. Right. We kept our why. We didn't, and not always and not perfectly, of course, but that is what got us up off the canvas when we had the problem customers, when we had the problem employees, when um, we, there was no money and no jobs and all those. Right. We knew what we wanted. So. I, could, I could say, even when we talk with, with our, you know, with our private clients and working with it and there's issues and it's frustra- it's frustration, stuff's going to happen, whatever. Mm-hmm. Where's your why? Right. How's your why? Mm-hmm. Are you in touch with your why? Right. That is almost eighty <laughs> percent of, of of your success right mm-hmm. there. Yep. If, if you could focus on that, and, mindset. And, right. It's the right. It's the you got to. So there we go. Okay. Your why. Know your why. Hey, uh, I got uh, I got something for you here for mm-hmm. being here. It's still part yeah, of the. It's still we're we're still, still part of the format. Right. Free, right. Something free here. All right. Mm-hmm. It's my million dollar plumber blueprint. Mm-hmm. Okay. In it, I lay out the exact specs you need in place to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Correct. All right, and it's free. Mm-hmm. Okay, simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com, all right, and you can see forward where you Forward slash free. Forward slash free, mm-hmm. okay. So that's Pretty still, sure, right? Okay. Isn't that right? Or go to the website there. There's a link on the website <laughs> yeah, there because I, mm-hmm. I want to get it in your hands, mm-hmm. all right? Get, get you thinking in the right. Slash free. All right, mm-hmm. and uh, there's a lot there, mm-hmm. and, uh, but, you know, and it's free, so, right. so check it out. Get the blueprint today, and okay. we have a little one right there, so if you're right. watching. Um, okay, so before we dive back in, we do want to extend an invitation to everybody out there to... Um, to come and follow us on social media. If you love these conversations and the topics that we share on this podcast, you're going to love what we talk about over on social media. We are on Facebook. We're on um, Instagram. And the handle is 
the million dollar plumber at the million dollar plumber um so come on over and, and follow us all right yeah come over mm-hmm. hang out with us here mm-hmm. all right we're talking tips and techniques to help you grow your plumbing business okay yep. we're not talking plumbing even though we get into that we're all right it ain't, it ain't about plumbing it ain't about plumbing it ain't about plumbing mm-hmm. all right you want to be successful with your plumbing business mm-hmm. It ain't about plumbing. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) There we go. All right. So Rocky, what has Rocky taught us so far here? Mm -hmm. All right. Number one, get in the ring. Mm -hmm. We want to get it in the ring. Okay. Number two, know your why. Extremely important. important. Know your why. Mm -hmm. Give your why a color. All right. A face, Mm -hmm. an amount. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got, it has to be, I I just want to make, I want to have a lot of money. Right. Right. Or I I want um, a better life for my kids. You know, you you absolutely have to narrow it down. You have to get very, very specific. Where do you want to send them to school? Yes. What what do you want for them? What type of house do you want? Right. Um, What kind of vacations do you want? Where do you want to live? The mountains, the beach, the, the desert. Figure out the neighborhood you want to live in, the type of house, how many bedrooms it is, how many bathrooms. Exactly. All the things. Right. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Number so three. Very, very, very important. And mm-hmm. finally, number three, mm-hmm. keep on coming. Mm-hmm. You got to keep <laughs> on coming. You got to keep call, you know, pushing forward. Mm-hmm. You, know, I, you know, I use this example and, uh, so, you know, so our clients that necessarily don't like it <laughs> because we talk about the championship rounds, <laughs> you know, and this is a great, you know, we're Rocky, we're, we're, we're in fighting, right? Mm-hmm. In, in boxing. And they call it the championship rounds are normally, um, you know, in a prize fight, the, like the last four rounds. Mm-hmm. Okay, those last four rounds, you know, the, you're, you're tired, you're bloody, mm. legs are going, and it all comes down to who wants it the most. Mm. Okay, it's the championship rounds. Mm-hmm. And your plumbing business, the championship rounds are up front. So that's, that's the hardest. It's not, right, mm-hmm. it's, not, it's not necessarily fair, it's not about being fair or whatever, it doesn't matter. The championship rounds are up front. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're bleeding, <laughs> <laughs> bleeding cash, <laughs> all right? You're tired, mm-hmm. you're, you're, um, you're fatigued because you're learning new things. Okay, you're thinking about things differently. Wearing lots of different hats. Wearing, wearing all the hats. Wearing, all the hats are on your head. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, so you're in the championship rounds, mm-hmm. but you got to keep on coming. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Rocky has another famous line. Okay. okay. Which tells us so much. This is such a great life lesson. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Um, especially for today. I mean, we're, we're such a society full of wimps and whiners and... Mm-hmm. <laughs> wieners, okay? okay. I'm not talking about winners. I'm talking about wieners. Wieners, okay? Um, and and guys, it's it's just us us giving up, and it, and it comes down to this, you know. It's a, it's in the the, the movie uh, Rocky Balboa. Boa. So he's talking oh, with his yeah. son, okay. which is a great example of how you know when you say, well, it's because you know I'm under your shadow, or I don't get this opportunity, <laughs> or I'm this color, or they just hate me. They're haters. I need a puppy. <laughs> to hold and I just need you know uh, hey everyone has a sad story mm-hmm. life is not fair mm-hmm. but I like how Rocky puts it you know mm-hmm. how he says look it doesn't matter how hard you can hit mm-hmm. so it doesn't matter how smart you are how good of a plumber you are even you know how much money you have at the time or whatever you do come it doesn't matter mm-hmm. all right it doesn't matter how hard you can how hard you can hit mm-hmm. it matters how hard you can get hit mm-hmm. and keep on coming mm-hmm. You know, how hard you can get hit, get knocked down, get back up and keep on coming. That is how winning is done. Mm -hmm. All right. And everyone has that in them if they choose. Absolutely. If they choose. If they have to choose. Right. Mm -hmm. You got to keep on coming. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. I I love that. And I can see, I I can see that. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, It is so clear after all the years in our personal life and, and of course dealing with you know literally hundreds of guys mm-hmm. um, well, and I would say that um, we have a couple really good examples where we were hit hard oh. in our plumbing business hit hard 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 down on the mat bleeding cut me Mick right oh, oh, or, <laughs> yeah, I, there's a moment of oh this feels so good down here <laughs> on, life is so unfair you, you're curled up in a fetal <laughs> position you know the million dollar plumber <laughs> has been in the fetal position before, but the, but it's not forever. No. You got to have that. Mm-hmm. You, you got to say, you just got to get back up. Yes. You know? And you I remember up. after one of them, we literally, had, and it was bad. We right. had to sit, we had to go off um, and sit and say, why do we want to keep Attaboy? Right. Which was the name of our plumbing business. Why do we want to keep going with Attaboy? Because it's really, really hard. Right. And we just started listing. We started with our why and kind of drilled down even more and more um, and reminding ourselves the reasons to keep going. Right. And it wasn't easy. Right. At that, and I 
boy, I remember that one. As and it's it's not easy. The great lie is um, waiting for your government to get to give you some kind of hand up or you or know, the right person in out. office. Or the right right the right person in office. The right um, the the right uh, um, inspector. Um, the right time. The right you know the, right the wife you know the wife's job is at the right position. The kids are at the right age and the right guys. It's just never a right time. Mm -hmm. And then. And then when you get into it, you know, look, everything doesn't work out, um, work out perfectly. You're dealing with other people and other systems and other stuff. Right. And so, Things you know, happen. as soon as you, you, so you write the check for this new marketing company and, you know, the phone doesn't all, just all of a sudden just blow up on you. Well, they suck. <laughs> they're taking advantage of me. What do we hear? Some people, you know, they're ignoring me. <laughs> no, they're not. It's just, it's business. It's just how it works. It's your responsibility to stay on top of it mm -hmm. and to keep coming, to keep mm -hmm. coming, to keep coming to right. keep coming. Mm -hmm. That's how winning is done. You and will be successful if you don't quit. Oh. Period. I mean, it, there, Amen. you will be. You will be. Right. Because everybody else quits. Right. And, and, if, and if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, and that is the key. <laughs> yes. So keep it on is coming. keep on coming. Yes. And I'm so glad that we did keep on coming. And the one time oh. I was referring to, it we, it was close of where, of where, of whether or not we would keep coming. Well, but, about lost everything except our marriage. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And, um, but we and it's scary. So we get it. I, I get it when I hear, you know, guys say, well, the phone's not ringing or whatever, you know. I, you got to get past the thing. That, now, this is when we die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> our, customer, our clients love when we say that. This get, is not where you're going to die. It's not, you know, it's just, <laughs> you, you got to, you know, it's, it's, but it's, it's so evasive in our society. Pervasive. Pervasive. pervasive there yes. we go. Mm -hmm. Of this, you know, we, we got global warming, you know, mm -hmm. we're going to burn <laughs> to death. You know, it wasn't so long ago when we were going to freeze to death. Mm -hmm. um, then we're going to drown to death because, you know, you know ice got, <laughs> right. Yeah. It, it, everything's <laughs> happening now. You know, we got the virus, mm -hmm. you know, and now a new virus. It's mm -hmm. all this stuff, mm -hmm. you know, is going to kill. If you listen to that, right. and we, we get all caught up in all that kind of stuff. And it'll make you want to stay on the ground on right. the canvas, right? Because it's like, why, why bother? Right. Okay. But you got to keep coming. You got to keep coming. You got to keep going if you want to be successful Did, for the life that you say that you want. Right. And again, go, going back to your point too, you got to know your why. So right. there we right? go. Okay. Right. So good one, babe. Yes. Rocky, one of your Rocky. faves. Yes. There we go. So we, um, upcoming Potty Talk Lives, we're going to be talking about other um, movies that you like and how it relates to the plumbing business. Yeah, teaches, teaches about uh, plumbing business. Right. All right. So okay. Sloan, he's a master plumber. <laughs> <laughs> master plumbing business. <laughs> All right. I didn't even know it. it. All right. It's okay. good. <laughs> hey, if you're serious about, truly serious about growing your plumbing business, all right, or learning the, the business of plumbing, mm -hmm. then uh, you want to check out the Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy. You do. In it, we teach you everything you need to know to run a successful, self-sustaining, which is key right there, mm -hmm. self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business, mm -hmm. all right? Everything you need to know on the business side of things, from yes. figuring your own pricing to flat rate pricing to uh, to how to hire, who to hire, when to hire, mm -hmm. okay? Um, how all, to brand and not right, land. All, all the marketing, mm -hmm. how to market, mm -hmm. okay? How to play the game, okay? How to win the fight, the plumbing, the plumbing business fight. It's all in there for you. And and with three different levels, you can you can choose your you know your commitment level. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got apprentice level, journeyman level, and the master level. Correct. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's up to you. You know, you kind of want to walk yourself through, or do you actually want to be coached all the way through? Right. Okay, if someone is going to be pushing you, mm -hmm. all right, you know, be, ha have your own Mick, mm -hmm. Mick in your corner. <laughs> you know, all right, He'll catch you. Right, just saying, <laughs> all right. Bring it, take it to them, Rocky. Take it to them. Okay. <laughs> so it's all there. You can check it out at the million dollar plumber dot com. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Success Academy. Mm. Yep. And I think it's still having, are we still run the 14 day free trial. We are. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no excuse. No excuse. All right. If you're serious. All right. If you're looking mm -hmm. to win your plumbing business fight. So okay. there we have it. Perfect. Hey, all yes. right. It's a great uh, first episode with a new format, mm -hmm. but I still, mm -hmm. before I let anyone go here, yes. I, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. Mm -hmm. So as always, plumb like a champion. Hi everybody.